Hello, St. John's. This coming Sunday, Trinity Sunday, we look at our gospel lesson, Matthew 28, known as the Great Commission. Uh, we're not going to look quite as much at the, the commission of making disciples, uh, but also seeing this in context of this new identity as the followers of Jesus and the identity of Christ. And so we wrestle with these questions about who are you? What is our identity? And the temptation is to find our identity in something other than uh, Jesus. It might be we find it in some sort of biological understanding, uh, some sort of uh, uh, social understanding, looking at our identity as those things that are kind of human rather than looking at uh, the who we are in Christ. And specifically, we'll find in this text, uh, Christ in context of this new name that's placed upon us, of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so the disciples, they gather uh, before Jesus in Galilee, and it says the 11 disciples. It's the only place in the Bible where it highlights this 11. And the, the number 11 brings forth to us first Judas. He's the one that's missing. Uh, he's the one that uh, killed himself because of his betrayal of Jesus. And then we see the ones that are left, and they are ones who have committed apostasy. They had denied Jesus. They had run away from him. They had abandoned him. Uh, and so uh, they are uh, very weak. Uh, we find even as they are gathering before Jesus, uh, that weakness and that brokenness is still there. Here they are not doubting him as a risen Lord. Uh, they're not doubting who Jesus is. But now they're still doubting who they are and the mission and the commission that God is going to give them to go and make disciples. Uh, how are they going to be able to do that? And so God declares them, you are now the, the new Israel, the 12, right, uh, representing old Israel. Uh, now Israel has uh, found itself in Jesus. He is the true Israel, but the New Testament church now will be the new Israel, the people of God. And so here the disciples represent and they stand in the place of the people of God given the commission by God to make disciples. And so uh, they have gone from apostasy, right, to this new Israel. But it's not because of anything they've done, uh, but because they come before uh, the identity of Jesus. Jesus is, his identity is the risen Lord. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him. Uh, if they come with their authority, they doubt. But Jesus says, no, I have all authority. I am the risen Lord, and I am the one who gives you a new name. Now, in the Old Testament, we have uh, the patriarchs, right? I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then we see that God says to Moses uh, this word, Yahweh, I am who I am. And now here in the New Testament, it is a new name, uh, the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Not a new idea, necessarily. Uh, we have Father, Son, and Holy Spirit throughout the Old Testament, too, although we don't uh, have it clearly stated like this, but the Father, the Creator, the one uh, who desires to redeem His children, who sends His Son uh, to live and die and rise again, and through the Father and the Son sends the Holy Spirit to uh, you, that you might have faith in Christ and be restored to the Father. This new name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that we celebrate, this Trinity, right, has been placed upon you in your baptism. It's the name that we confess and where our creeds are aligned with. It's what we say at the beginning of our services in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then Jesus says, I am Emmanuel. I'm Emmanuel in my birth and my life and death and resurrection. I'm Emmanuel with you still in the word and the sacraments and the ministry of the church as you are now these uh, the, the new Israel, the people of God. I am still with you through this new name. And so uh, we talk about disciples being followers of Jesus. Uh, that is absolutely true. But uh, this weekend also maybe just thinking about uh, I'm a disciple. That means I live in a new name. My identity is in this risen Lord who is with me and that I'm defined by him. I've been baptized into him. I am uh, one who lives under father. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And that identity unites me with all other children of God, those who also have been under this new name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So who are you? What is your identity? Well, we are tempted to find our identity somewhere within us, find our identity somewhere as opposed uh, over to someone else. Here we know our identity is from outside us. It's been placed upon us in our baptism. 
It's given to us by the risen Lord Jesus who says, you are a child of God in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is who you are. God be with you.